Hey guys, so I'm in the process of doing a little bit of little touches to Bradley and Mantis' room and I wanted to show you a few before I do their actual room tour in about a week. Um, this is a photo board that I redid. I did it before and I just wanted to do it again. I've got a tub full of fabrics that match my girl's room and I grabbed a stapler and some ribbon and you can really choose what you want to use to decorate but I used some silk flowers that I added a couple little ribbons and buttons to and some three-dimensional stickers that I got at Big Lots but I actually like to get these at Hobby Lobby uh, just for a more personalized touch some buttons and then some push pins for anything that you want to put on it that won't fit in the ribbons. I just used an old photo board. This one is one that I did a while ago, but it's kind of falling apart and I just really needed a freshened up look. I never actually got it to where I wanted it to be. Um, so I just took a piece of minky fabric that is about two inches bigger on all sides of it. There's really no measuring involved in this. You just have to have enough fabric that it will go around the edges as well as wrap around the back. And I just pinned along that little ridge of where the cork ends um, in one, two, three, four, I don't know, the corners and then the centers just to hold it in place before I did the stapling so that I got the fabric really smooth. I didn't need to pull it super tight because it's minky dot fabric. I didn't want the minky dots to come out. Um, and then I just took a stapler and I went along every few inches and then I actually went back through and did staples in between just to hold it really secure and that's what it looked like when I was done. Make sure the corners have one in each side just to pin that down really secure. And then to take the corners, you just pull it down where you see that it'd be wrapping and you take the excess fabric that's going to hang off and you're just going to trim that off so that you're not dealing with a ton of fabric when you're stapling around the side. And you'll just pull that tight when you go and turn it over and you just go around and staple it all down. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect in the back. So now I'm just taking ribbon that matches my girl's room and I'm cutting strips that will go diagonally. You can do this in a um, pattern, you can do it in a whatever, but my daughter's kind of crazy so I like to represent her in this and um, I just did random little strips but still orderly chaos I like to say. And then I take one piece of one ribbon and then I'll do one ribbon at a time and then you want to make sure it's tight and you safe, or, uh, staple it right up against the end of that cork. And you're going to do that to all the ribbon and then you're going to turn it around and you're going to pull the ribbon in the direction that it's already going and staple it down and cut off excess. This one was really long but most of them were just about the right thing. So then turn it back over once everything is down and that's when you are free to decorate. I used buttons and, and flowers and then I took some of my pins and I just glued on flowers. Personally, I would use hot glue for this because um, I love hot glue, it dries super fast. I'm using some Goop glue right now, which is a really, really sturdy glue, um, but I'm just out of glue sticks at the moment, which is crazy. Um, and then I put on some cute stickers just in different areas, Smarty Pants, because she is a Smarty Pants. Um, and I will show you Briley's board in our room tour. I've got a bunch of different projects I'm working on this week for their room. And this is her bed with all her little pandas on it. And I actually made her quilt. I'm debating if I want to make her a new one. Um, they both have the same one in me. And it's just getting old. But that is the finished project. I hope you like it. And if you do it, Instagram it and tag Auntie Tay. I love you guys. Goodbye.